So we're going to do number two on page 355 together. Compare. Okay, we're being asked to compare the rates of effusion of CO2 to HCl. So how many numbers do we have here? So here's the equation we have to work with. Um, square root of the mass of CO2 over the square root of the mass of HCl is equal to the rate of HCl over the rate of CO2. But we've only got two numbers. We have no numbers here. Whoops. So how are we going to do this? Okay, if we go ahead and put in the numbers we do have, 44.01, square root of 44.01, over square root of 36.46. After all that fuss, what do you get for a number? A number. Give me an answer. 6.6. Okay, so what do we have? Um, 1.0986. Okay, and we're going to leave it at, at, at this for now, 1.09867028. We've got this big long number. What are the units here? What are the units here? This is a ratio. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. What are the units here? No units. They canceled. Ratios don't have units. So, what we are saying is that the rate of HCl, what we are saying is that the rate of HCl, effusion of HCl to the rate of CO2 effusion is 1.098, etc., to 1. That's our ratio. So, this has an invisible 1 underneath it. And we're saying whatever is up, whoops, whatever is up here is your number on top to whatever is down here, your number on the bottom. Okay, so the answer is an entire sentence that relates those two rates. We'll talk more about this tomorrow.